when I was little, my dad would fish four or five days out of the week and we didn't have to go without anything. Now, our men and women can't make a living, a very good prosperous living like my parents did when I was little. That's what I hope the future brings with this restoration project. We are on the Olympic Peninsula on the Quileute River, which flows into the Pacific at the tribal village of La Push. Wild Salmon Center has been partnering with the Quileute tribe to not only restore and heal the river and the salmon populations, but also to try to protect the community of La Push from river flooding. Salmon populations have been struggling as a result of human impacts to the landscape. There was a period in time we thought cutting wood out of streams would actually help salmon. So we no longer have what's called key pieces in the river. Those are the big, old growth, gnarly pieces of wood that don't move with your average flood. Not having enough wood in the river means you don't have that critical habitat that a salmon needs to survive. Salmon populations have been impacted, but so have the communities that wood isn't there to help slow the river down when these big storm events come. If we don't do this restoration work, our lower village is gonna be gone. We need to go in and give the river a fighting chance to be itself again. The restoration project we're doing, it's known as stream training. It's a way of using natural features like log jams to improve fish habitat, protect the banks, and reduce flood risk further downriver in the push. What we are trying to accomplish with these large log structures is a pinball effect where we are bouncing the flow to slow it down and to direct it away from valuable tribal land that is eroding and into the channels that we're building to create additional fish habitat. I'm actually building the smaller structures and we're gonna be cutting channels in through here to get the river to divert to where it, it needs to be. A lot of the tribal members are getting trained to do this kind of work. My name is Mark Williams. I'm from the Kali tribe. Construction is different It's because I fished all my life. Hopefully it'll just change the flow of the river. From the last three years, it changed pretty hard. The hope is just to save our village so it won't keep flooding. I think it's gonna work. There are so many benefits to investing in infrastructure in a place like the Olympic Peninsula. You're preventing environmental harm. You're maintaining good fish habitat, but then you're also supporting the community. Cold water is super important for fish, for spawning, for their eggs to survive. And one of the things that we're really up against is uh, river temperature, stream temperature, especially with climate change. Giving those fish a chance to find colder water, uh, I think that's a really big part of the restoration puzzle. We're all set up to float the Quileute River, all 5.5 miles of it, and we're gonna record uh, temperature readings uh, every three seconds at the left bank, right bank, and in the foul wag at the surface and at the deeper pools and as we go across riffles. Rivers in the Northwest have areas that are sometimes too warm to support salmon, but there's these places within the rivers, cold water refuges. So you could have a few degrees Celsius of difference between the main flow and those cooler patches. Those cooler patches can be a really important place where the fish can get the dissolved oxygen that they need to breathe. Where there's cold water, we want to protect it, whether that's land acquisition or enhancing it with log jams. And areas that warm up, that's where we want to add some of that sinuosity into the river and you activate your floodplains channel, you're gonna get that, that cold water creation. Without doing this research, we wouldn't pick up where those temperatures are warming up or where the cold water is coming in. I know it's gonna lead to more salmon. The investment that the federal government has made into this work 
It's really, in my mind, beyond just the investment in habitat work, it's an investment in the human part of the infrastructure too. And we will see that return on investment down the road. This is a great time to be working in this watershed. We have a lot of potential to pull it together, go after money to get it done, and, and really make a difference here. Rivers are the arteries of our world. The science has shown us that if we come in and reconnect salmon populations to areas of cold water, they'll rebound. They'll make it through even continued warming trends. The salmon is our life. The water is our life. This land is our life. It's what keeps our hearts beating.